The Gaza Nippers project, which I understand was your idea, first got underway in 2016. And the key partners were the Northern Beaches Committee for Palestine, the Coalition for Justice and Peace in Palestine, and the North Stain Surf Life Service Club, one of the local surf clubs in Sydney's Northern Beaches. Can you please explain what the project's objectives were? Yeah, we want to give hope to the people in Gaza that they are not alone after blockade for more than 17 years. And we want to help the children to give them opportunity to spend happy times in the beaches because in Gaza, no electricity, no uh, anything to do because of a blockade. And we found it is important to benefit from the Australian experience in surfing and the Nippers program. And for that, we invited two Palestinians from Gaza to have some training in, in surfing. And then after that, they will come back to Gaza in order to implement this project. And they succeeded to do that. It was not until 2019 that the actual training got underway because of the delays in yeah. bringing uh, Muhammad and yeah. uh, Hassan across um, and then when they went back to Gaza then it was COVID-19 yeah, pandemic yeah, and uh, more uh, Israel attacks mm -hmm. on, on Gaza and that all delayed so that yeah. the first pilot program was only in 2022 yeah and the actual launch was only last year in all July and August and yeah you had they had their first nippers season yes um, but then October, yeah, the new genocide yes, began. Yes, that's true. And uh, I understand that you have some very tragic news to share about the people you were working with in this Gaza Nippers project. Yeah, yes, we had, and still we have challenges in order to achieve the goals of this project, because, as you know, and um, Gaza under blockade and the war all the time, Israel. Okay, like invade Gaza and also besides that uh, COVID and when we achieve one step it take like one year in order just to make visas for Muhammad Hassan it took two years mm. and when they came back and in order to me to bring money and to support this project we need time in order for to provide the money and um, after we succeed to achieve that we have more challenges and now we have another challenge, this genocide, and many of these children were killed by Israeli occupation in this genocide. And, um, and some of the people who supporting this project, besides some of our team killed in this project. And uh, now, yes, we succeeded to evacuate uh, Muhammad and his family to come to Australia because of genocide and now we are thinking what we are going to do what is the second um, step now the priority to help um, some of our team to come to australia and we succeeded with muhammad family but it's so hard and uh, this is example how the supporters of palestine they are suffering not only palestinians people are suffering also people who try to help Palestinians are suffering. They estimate that about at least 15,000 children have been killed yeah. in this latest genocide. How many children who were involved in the Nippers project in Gaza mm -hmm. do you know have been killed? Yeah. yeah, in this project around 100 children last year in August or yeah, in July or August they, we organized this uh, Nippers program, it was around 100. According to what we heard, that um, eight were killed, but um, the names of the children that we know, around four to five, and still we are searching about other children because we heard that some of them also killed. But we need to make sure about the names, the details about them. But it's not easy because of the genocide is still in Gaza. It's not easy to call the family to know what's going on. But we have like two, four children, and I provide you 
their names and also some of the team and some of supporters were killed and we are still worried we will hear news about that and we hope they are safe as others this story of the gaza nippers deserves to get out far and wide do you think it could play a role in their global campaign to stop israel's genocide in gaza yes i think it is important for us to show the normal people not interested in politics how the children are suffering and uh, it is important also to think how to motivate to encourage people to intervene in order to rescue the life of children for us the our message that these children in gaza not only they deserve good life also they want to be normal life and uh, not to be under blockade and they have a chance to travel and to enjoy and to live like other children and um, and i think this will encourage many people according to my experience a, a lot of f- people became active in this project despite they are not politicians and they wanted to help the people and uh, normal and this can expand the solidarity movement to support human rights in palestine and this project is yes it is a humanitarian project but it will show the people how people who are working in this project the humanitarian project we are suffering and uh, we need the interna- the united nations and the governments to intervene to stop find justification to this israeli occupation at least and to no justification to this uh, place in the in the world to be under blockade under aggression under genocide and um, we don't want to accept any excuses to this to the genocide to continue and uh, we don't want this genocide to be repeated this is against the humanity it's not against uh, just palestinians so genocide should stop must stop and we will not accept these criminals to find justification and um, and the criminal court must arrest netanyahu and this important message for all criminals that no one above the law it must be hard to talk about the the future in the middle of this current genocide but what what are your hopes for the future of the gaza nippers i hope to see surfing club in gaza and see the children are playing and enjoy their holiday in and um, we want to see these children nippers became life lifeguards in the future and we can see this building for as example and a symbol of solidarity between people to people and to contribute to stop this blockade and genocide and gaza to be free and i hope all of supporters visiting gaza and go to surfing club it will be palestinian australian surfing club this good message to palestinian gaza that you are not alone Australian people also support you and um, i hope this genocide not be repeated again thank you